Hello everybody, my name is Jessica Pimentel and today I'm going to explain the PPP approach to language teaching. The three P's approach to language teaching is the most common modern methodology employed by professional schools around the world. That's why it's very important to understand what presentation, practice and production really are and how they work in combination to create effective communicative language learning. Presentation. Presentation is the beginning or introduction to learning language. Moreover, presentation is presenting the correct language lesson to the student dependent on the curriculum chosen. This could be those subjects as sound, part of a speech, vocabulary, sentence structure and grammar. Generally, between 65 and 90 percent of class time is spent on the presentation component. Practice. The practice stage is the best known to teachers irrespective of their training or teaching objectives. However, it is a stage that is often overdone or used ineffectively either because presentation was poor or it's not seen and used as a natural step toward production. It's the important middle stage to communicative language teaching, but exactly that the middle stage. It's important that practice activities are appropriate to the language being learned and the level and competence of the student. Essentially, practice is a testing procedure for accuracy and the frequency procedure for familiarity with the language. It's also a remedial stage. A good way to summarize effective practice is to see it as a repetition leading to competence and accuracy in terms of phonology and syntax. Production. The production stage is the most important stage of communicative language teaching. Successful production is a clear indication that the language learner has made the transition from a student or the key language to user of the language. Generally, production involves creating a situation requiring the language that was introduced in the presentation stage. That situation should result in the student producing more personalized language. Production is highly dependent on the practice stage because if a student do not have confidence in the language, then they will naturally be hesitant to independently use it. In addition to, one of the most important things to remember is that production activity should not tell a student what to say, whereas in practice, the student has most or all the information required. During production, they don't have the information and must think. Ideally, it is challenging in that it's representative of real life situation. Thanks.